Let us move on to the next question. Some pictures A to C are given below. Tell which of them show the following fractions. So there are three drawings given in A, B and C. So let us first consider the first fraction given. That is 3 times of 1 by 5 that is equal to 3 by 5. So when we observe the drawing in the C bit, we observe three rectangles. Each rectangle is divided into five parts. So in each rectangle out of the five parts, one part is shaded. So in the first rectangle, the first part is shaded and in the second rectangle, the second part is shaded and in the third rectangle, the third part is shaded. Since one part out of five parts are shaded in each of the rectangles. Each rectangle represents a fraction 1 by 5. Since there are three such rectangles, this represents 3 times of 1 by 5. 3 times of 1 by 5 is equal to 3 by 5. Therefore, this represents a rectangle having five parts out of which three parts are shaded. Therefore, the fraction 3 times of 1 by 5 which is equal to 3 by 5 is shown in drawing C. So now let us consider the next fraction that is 2 times 1 by 3 which is equal to 2 by 3. When we observe the drawing in the A bit, uh, we observe two circles which are divided into three parts each. In the first circle, out of the three parts, one part is shaded and even in the second circle, out of the three parts, one part is shaded. Since one part out of three parts is shaded in each circle, each circle represents a fraction 1 by 3. Since there are two such circles, it represents 2 times 1 by 3 which is equal to 2 by 3. Therefore, this represents a circle having three parts out of which two parts are shaded. Therefore, 2 times of 1 by 3 which is equal to 2 by 3 is shown in drawing A. So now let us consider the third fraction. It is 3 times of 3 by 4 which is equal to 2 1 by 4. So when we observe the drawing in B, with this is a triangle which is divided into four parts. There are three such triangles. So in each triangle out of the four parts, three parts are shaded. Therefore each triangle represents a fraction 3 by 4. Since there are three such triangles, this represents three times of 3 by 4. In the right hand side, we have three triangles out of which two triangles are shaded completely and the third triangle is divided into four parts out of which one part is shaded. Therefore, the third triangle represents a fraction 1 by 4 and the three triangles together represent 2 1 by 4 which is also equal to 3 times of 3 by 4. Therefore, the fraction 3 times 3 by 4 which is equal to 2 1 by 4 is shown in the drawing B.